Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creek. Today we will be reviewing the next American battleship, that being Montana, or as I have the sister ship, Maine. Now, Montana is by far one of the strongest, if not the strongest, ship in the game. And I say that for many different reasons, so let's take a look to see what we have first. We have 96,300 health, which is not the highest, but it's still pretty good. 36% torpedo resistance, pretty decent. Um, we're getting closer to the pre-fast battleship torpedo resistance numbers, so pretty good as well. And then you can see all the other stats here. Her maneuverability is pretty poor, but that's because she's so long. She has 12 16-inch guns arranged in four triple turrets, two in the front, two in the back. And these are the bread and butter of this ship. Because that is a lot of firepower, and that is the highest potential broadside. I'm not saying she's going to get citadels every shot, but if she were to get a citadel for each of her 12 armor-piercing shells and a salvo, that calculates to the highest potential broadside. Now, in-game, you don't say that at all. And in game, I would say that Super Yamato has the highest potential broadside because you just get so much pen damage instead of Citadel damage all the time. But Montana is definitely not far behind. Uh, with 12 16 inch guns, you can do a lot of damage. You can shoot out to 24.2 kilometers, and your secondary shoot out to 6.6 .6 kilometers. As you can see here, you have the five dual purpose 5 inch guns on each side. And that's mirrored on this side. This ship is almost identical to another ship we've already reviewed. That being uh, Louisiana or Ohio as I renamed her. The legit only difference is the guns. This one has four 16 inch guns but they're high velocity. This one has 12 16 inch guns. Less velocity but more firepower. And the speed is 28 knots which is slightly slower than I expected honestly I actually would want them to be at least 30 knots 28 just doesn't seem enough that's why I enjoy the speed boost on Ohio because it can get you up to about well with my speed buffs I can get up to 30 or so and then with the speed boost I can get up to 33 um, but even then, I still feel like these could use a little bit more speed. AA defense is spectacular as always. Uh, at this tier, though, there's so many aircraft and they have so many health that no matter how much you shoot down, there will always be more, it feels like. So there will still be times when you do have carriers getting drops on you. And they will not get out of it unscathed and they'll probably lose all their squadrons. Um, as they're returning back to the carrier, but still, that doesn't mean you're invulnerable. Armor, you have a maximum of 541 millimeters, which is, I'm assuming, something like 21 inches, and a belt of 408, so that's about 16 inches. Um, yeah, the armor on the ship is actually pretty interesting. There are times where you can shoot her and get a bunch of citadels, and there's times where you shoot her on the broadside at the same exact spot and you miss the citadel entirely. Um, the best part or best place to shoot her to get a citadel similar to uh, Iowa is at this kind of angle, right? Or at this kind of angle or completely 90 degrees right under the front turrets. And same thing for the rear turrets as well. Pretty much any kind of ship, if you shoot under the turrets, that's exactly where you need to shoot for a citadel. Doesn't mean you always hit it, but it's a good start. Alright, so with that, let's toss into a game and see what we can do today. Alright, here we have ourselves a game. Looks like five, uh, six battleships, four cruisers, two destroyers. No carrier, unfortunately. Uh, so that's a shame. But, I mean, any game without a carrier is fine. So we have a Montana, Montana, Yamato, Monarch, Missouri, Bismarck, Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines, Ibuki, Grozovoy, Akazuki. Now, not only are these guns amazing for shooting battleships, uh, they are 
exactly what's required to one-shot cruisers, especially at this tier. Uh, so, for example, Ubuki and Des Moines, if you get a broadside or give your broadside to Montana, um, that will be the first and last mistake you ever do. All right, so let's see what we have on this side. Um, all right, so everyone's going that way, but that doesn't matter. Destroyers, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Montana with destroyers is very similar to Iowa. You have long range secondaries that can do damage, not enough damage to just completely ignore them. Um, but one thing that Iowa does not have is three additional 12 inch guns. So if you have, even if you have armor piercing and you do 12 armor piercing rounds at a destroyer, you can still overpen it for almost half of its full health. And if it's high explosive, you're going to one-shot it. That's what we're just smoking on right this way. I do have health buffs and speed buffs applied, so that is why I was actually able to break 100,000k. Let me just fix this real quick. Alright, there we go. I just recently got a new phone, so I'm trying to remember all of the settings I had equipped at the beginning. I think this is just about it. Um, okay. Should be good, I think. Mm, a little to the back. But we we're still able to get almost 22,000 damage. And only half of our shells hit. And I don't even think all those repents. So you can immediately tell how powerful this ship is. There's a Des Moines up there. That's pretty juicy. Let me see if I can get some of that. Yeah, she's already getting some damage from other sources. Let's see if we can get some as well. Yep, I'll take that. 28,000. Then this poor boogie walked into the wrong side of the bank. And it looks like my secondary range is extended. I'm not quite sure what skills I have, but my secondaries are shooting out up to almost 8 kilometers. So you know what, I'll take it. And this boogie is going to give us enough broadside to eliminate her from the game. Let's focus our secondaries on the Grozovoy. Then there's the Montana and the base one up in the back there. So right now it's just the Montana. We got a secondary kill on the Grozovoy. And let's see if we can get some Citadels on this Montana. Yep, that'll work. Oh, there's a Bismarck and a Monarch. You can see how easy it is just to like one shot everything you come across with a ship. It's very nice. And the accuracy is pretty good as well too. 16,000 damage right off the bat. And then I can show you how high explosive works on a uh, the Monarch in a moment, because Iron Piercing is not usually the best way to deal with this ship. But we still were able to get 22,000 damage. Secondaries are opening up. Alright, so high explosive. Watch how much the heck you can get. If I get in the salary, that is. 21,000 and just high explosive, and I got a fire as well. Only one fire, unfortunately. And then we can end close the bar, which is unsaturated right now. And we get some more damage, another 13,000 at least.
Focus secondaries on here. And then use armor piercing on base mark because that one's going to be the one that does damage to me, not the model. And then, this is pretty much it. Once you finish off these two battle ships, it'll just be the Akazuki up in the way far north. So we got the moment, the eight seconds, and it goes my turn in the game. Um, I could try and switch to high explosive to deal with this Akazuki, but it looks like she'll be taken care of anyway. And I don't have that kind of accuracy at this range either. So we're just gonna sit here and watch her burn and just see how much damage we're able to do. Yeah, yeah, maybe I would go to the top Let's see, can we hit it? <laughs> yes, we can. Awesome. So let's see how we did. First game of the day, 329,000 damage, 6 ships sunk, 103 shell hits, 2 aircraft shot down, 9 citadels, 2 fires, 85 secondary hits for over 7,500 base XP. 35,000 damage was on high explosive. Remember, we only did two salvos. And then armor piercing was 267,000 damage. Pretty good damage. Fires did about 18,000. Not that much, but still, you can use her as a high explosive spammer if you really wanted to. And then secondary battery was actually able to do 7,500 damage. So they're not completely worthless, however. They're not as effective as other ships at this tier. Uh, if you already have Montana or are interested in her playstyle, um, then remember you also have Orion, which is just a Montana with a space camo, or the Montana Galaxy of Flame, however you want to call her. Personally, I like the way this Montana is. Um, and she's a very, very powerful ship. You'll see her a lot in Arena, as well as other Super Yamatos as well. A very good ship and a very good pinnacle to the American Battleship line. She has good guns, good AA, okay-ish speed, um, and pretty decent armor. However, like I said, you're not invincible. That one Montana that I was going up against, I citadeled her like five times, and I immediately one-shotted her. But other times you'll do that, and you'll just get a few pens and nothing more. So it really depends on what the game feels like at that time. Uh, that wraps up American Battleships, and tomorrow we'll be going over French Battleships, starting with Corbet. So I have to go through all of these and relearn them, because I haven't played these in ages. <laughs> so I don't know what their stats are, their good parts are. Um, but until then, have a good day, and take care.